Although three quarters of a century at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean did not exactly preserve Titanic in museum-like condition, there is enough left of the wreck to give us more than just an idea of what really happened. Corrosion has done its relentless work, but where the original black paint of the hull has flaked away, it is still possible to see spots of grey paint, which formed the undercoat. Except that grey paint was only used as an undercoat on the Olympic and not on the Titanic. Examination of the starboard propeller reveals the number 01 stamped into the metal. In fairness, there is too much corrosion to make out the number 4 clearly, but remember the starboard propeller, numbered 401 for the Titanic, was put on the Olympic as part of the repairs after the collision with the Hawk. Remote cameras under the control of the discoverer of the Titanic wreck, Dr. Robert Ballard, have examined the stern section of the ship. They show that in addition to the lateral bulkheads that were a feature of both the Titanic and the Olympic, there is a longitudinal bulkhead in the stern section where there was none on the original plans for either vessel. The position of this bulkhead suggests a temporary repair has been carried out to strengthen the keel, a keel perhaps damaged by the collision with HMS Hawk. And finally, a close look at the bow could reveal the most damning evidence of all. In 1986, the French National Oceanographic Institute examined the wreck with Dr. Robert Ballard. One of the things they checked was the name of the ship. In keeping with White Star tradition, both ships had their names engraved into the upper bow plates in letters four foot high. Examination of the wreck and the name Titanic shows that it is made of iron letters which have been riveted onto the original bow plates. With the passage of time, two of the letters have dropped off and been lost forever in the sediment of the seabed. At the place where they once were, engraved into the hull, are the letters M and 